Hey guys, so how's it going? Um, I was just doing a bit of research on the Galaxy Note 2 for my upcoming video and I came across something pretty interesting. It's a rumor that's going around, it's quite popular and seems to be legit. It's uh, on the processor it's going to be using. Basically it's going to be using an Exynos 5 or uh, an Exynos uh, 5250, so a 5 series processor. And it's going to be the first of its kind used in any mobile device ever. So the big deal about this is it's a new generation of chip. So to get this uh, clarified, you know, new phones come out every uh, couple of months or so, and uh, that's quite normal, you're used to that. But uh, new generations are only, generations of chips, sorry, are only every two to three years. So this is quite a big, um, a big event here. So if the Galaxy Note 2 is the first to get this chip, this will be quite, quite interesting. Um, the main th difference behind this chip and the previous chips is the core of it. So it basically uses a Cortex A15 CPU, so instead of the Cortex A9. So what this basically means is a um, more efficient die process and a smaller die size. So we're moving from a 45 to 40 nanometer range typically to a 32 to 28 nanometer range. So that might sound like a bit of gibberish, but it just means you can pack more transistors on, etc, etc, and it's more efficient. So you know, at a glance, what does this mean for the consumer? So, if you're going to be getting one of these new chips in your device, it means you will have uh, a clock speed of about 2 gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz as standard. Uh, it should be able to compute about 14 billion instructions versus about 7.5 on the old A9 system. Uh, it will have support for up to 8 cores, 1 terabyte of RAM, which is insane, 2560 by 1600 resolution and directs x11 support and obviously open gls 2.0 etc but that is um, just insane stats looking at that and um, the main thing about this that's getting people excited is the gpu so uh, you know in the galaxy note original and uh, galaxy s2 and galaxy s3 we all had the mali uh, i think it was the mali 400 and that was a pretty good processor etc but um you know this Mali uh, T604 that's coming in the new Exynos 5 chip uh, promises four to five times the performance of the old GPU. So, you know, that's going to be absolutely insane. So, uh, if the Galaxy Note 2 has all this uh, fact inside of it, it's going to be the one to get for uh, for the year. So, it's going to kind of change uh, the way things happen. But, you know, there's a bit of a race going on between uh, NVIDIA, Samsung and Texas Instruments and a few other small companies to get this uh, new Cortex A15 launched but you know rumors are saying that Samsung or announced it last year anyway and uh, rumors are saying that Samsung is going to be the first to get this out so this Galaxy Note 2 is going to be an absolute beast if it gets this processor but the thing is this is only a dual core uh, it's not a quad core setup but still um, it's going to be faster than Tegra 3 and the S4 and all that stuff so you know it's just one to look out for so just a heads up guys uh, cheers for watching and uh, Catch you later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.